during my high school I've been to this um, hackathon. I kind of liked um, the problem solving they've been doing, kind of, you know, huddling through stuff, you know, developing a cool stuff at the end, which you've been using all day. That kind of, you know, got me into this. Growing up, my dad was a mechanical designer, and so I always wanted to get into CAD work, SolidWorks, Inventor, Pro-E. I was on a robotics team in high school, and then in college, I decided to major in mechanical engineering. Um, and when I saw this job opportunity pop up, the application was all about design work, but it also included testing and prototyping, all this kinds of hands-on work that I really love to do. So. My father is a mechanical engineer. My, my big brother is a mechanical engineer. And that's how I grown up in that field. Somehow I got very much fell in love with machines, you can say. We receive a lot of support calls and, you know, we kind of try to understand um, what kind of improvements that we're probably going to do. Um, in, not just that, I think every time um, we try to build a new product or a new software, new feature, we have a lot of discussions on what could make things better for them. If it's work, it's excellent. If it's not, we'll move, we'll step back and then we will, we will move to a step forward. That's the goal, that's the idea behind moving forward. So the feedback we get, some of it is, um, you know, current technology or processes that can be applied immediately. Um, and some of it is, you know, if you guys make another one of these, I wanted to do this. Or we hear a lot about our software, right? I want your, your software, it could use some improvements and here's how I think. We take that into account and say, what have dealers been telling us about what they're seeing every day? The dealers who are giving us that input, that input's critical because it's really letting us know what makes their lives easier out.